Oh, hey, how you going? Alison Gingerland here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm recovering from a cold, so if you think my voice sounds weird, it's because it does. Shout out to Fiona McCormick for commenting on my last video, then me taking a BuzzFeed quiz one. I'll pop that there, it's up. It's this side. She said, hello from a fellow ginger. Hey, how you doing? You literally deserve a million subs. <laughs> Thank you. There's so many people that comment that and it honestly just makes my day like, oh, I've just imagine like a million, like even a thousand, I'd be super happy with like, oh. Could you please do another reacting Aussie slash ginger TikTok say by far my favorite videos? Thank you for your comment, Fiona. I'm gonna do just that today. I'm gonna react to ginger TikToks again because it's kind of my best video. It's almost at 10,000 views, which is like, so yeah, we're going to do it once again. Let's hope it's not a flop compared to the last one because that'll be embarrassing. So we're going to head into TikTok. <laughs> I'm going to search the hashtag ginger problems because I feel like that's where I'm going to find some juicy ginger videos. And disclaimer, I'm going to like the ones that are good because I need to go back and screen record. So that's why they're going to be liked. Let's enter the world of being ginger. <laughs> ginger Jess. She is stunning. My God. Look at those lashes. Old women say how much they love your hair. Every time. I always get the most amount of compliments from old women. Yeah. <laughs> Kids bully you for being a ranger. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hairdress is saying to never dye and cut your hair. Yeah, every single time. And I used to, and I bleached it back in high school, so you can imagine what they said then. People over sexualizing your hair and fetishizing it. Yep, like wearing a box to take off. Wearing fact at 50 at any side of the sun. I won't leave the house without 50 plus on, that's ridiculous. Do the carpet match the drapes. Yeah, I haven't done that before. Helping out any kid struggling because of their hair. Yes! Like, this is why I feel so connected to gingers. We've all had to go through the same shit. I feel like once you get into adulthood and start to love, you know, love yourself and love your hair, life just gets so much better that all you want to do is help fellow gingers. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst sunburn lines. <laughs> looks like if he was all that color that would be a pretty decent like tan looking color it doesn't look too red but like I mean in that situation it's a good thing we don't tan because you could you imagine getting that tan <laughs> no one's just burn and then just straight back to white maybe a bit of freckles chopped on top but <laughs> Ah yes, the most backhanded compliment in the world. <laughs> Why do people say it and think that that's okay to say? If you said that about any other group of people, any other hair color, any other race, it'd be extremely offensive. So why does it not seem offensive to say that for a ginger, you know? <sighs> so when you got bullied, sorry, did you say bullied? Yeah, when kids took the piss out of you. I've um, never been bullied. You've never, you've never been bullied? No, why would you think that? Because you're ginger and like, I thought every ginger gets bullied. Was that just... Was that just me? No ginger jokes. No. Duracell battery. A walking what's it? Your mates ever look at a traffic cone and say, that looks like you? No. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yet to find a ginger who hasn't cop shit as a child. <laughs> One of you will betray me tonight. Is it me, Jesus? No. Is it me, Jesus? It's not you either. Is it me, Jesus? Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> today, tomorrow, yes. the next day, uh -huh. and them days after that. Period. You probably had the right idea, right? but the wrong bitch. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm really liking this Ginger Jess girl. Very relatable. <laughs> <laughs> That's hands down the worst part about being ginger. I've learned to love my hair color, gotten used to all the ginger jokes, cracked a few myself. They are pretty good, not gonna lie. It's the lack of melanin for me. <laughs> it's taken me so many years to accept the fact that I do not have the genetic capability to tan. Maybe in a couple little spots, but not full body tan, you know? So much of my early teens, I would just be like, it's fine, I can lie in the sun just like all my friends and get a tan. No, no, it took me, it took me a couple decades to realize that it's never going to happen. And so many people just don't accept that as well. They're like, surely if you go out in the sun for a bit, you can get a bit of a tan. I'm like, <laughs> you think I haven't tried? You think I'm almost 30 and haven't tried to get a natural tan before? It doesn't 
work and it sucks. Do you know what else sucks? Is when you're at the beach and you're just lying out, obviously lathered in sunscreen, you're not gonna not go outside as a ginger without sunscreen. But I actually need sunglasses in order to look down at my legs because the reflection's too bright. It actually burns my eyes. Sunglasses required if you want to look at my legs in the sun. Do you know how much that is just not good for my self-esteem that I actually have to wear sunnies to look at my skin? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Like you want my man? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Ginger Gina. My boss's cousin's Ginger Gina. <laughs> Surprising how much that happens. <laughs> like we're all connected. <laughs> The finding the right foundation shade. Literally every time I used to walk into a makeup store, the staff would come up, hey, do you need help with anything? I'm like, can you please just point me in the direction of your whitest shade of foundation? And it's always shade names like ivory or snow or porcelain. You're like, yeah, that's me. Walking along and then hearing does the carpet match the drapes being shouted at you from somewhere. That is still like by far the most cringiest thing anyone can say to a ginger because it's like, would you ask any other hair color that? It's pretty obvious to tell if you're a natural red. <laughs> I just got so sick of it and just started saying shit back. Be like, what carpet? Or like, well, they're not going to be black, are they? My grandma, you have such beautiful hair. But it's supposed to be all over the school. It's fine, but no one likes ginger's. Nobody thinks what you think. Not a shred of male attention when I was growing up. Tis the season for everyone to compare their tan selves to my ginger skin. Take your index finger, cock it. Yep, I have so many tan friends that are like, tan all year round, but some are like especially, but winter they're like, oh, I just feel so pale. And I'm like, can you not complain about being pale around me? You don't know the first thing about pale, okay? And they'll come and be like, oh, okay. Okay, maybe I'm not that pale. I'm glad my fluorescent skin could help you feel better about your shade of tan. You're welcome. I'm gonna leave it there. My throat's too sore. I keep coughing. I'm gonna have to cut so many coughs out of this video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Keep those comments coming, guys. I just really freaking love hearing from people. It's just really awesome to have comments. It's just like, oh my god, people are actually like watching and caring enough to actually write something. Thank you. If you're a fellow ginger, please feel free to comment below what you are most sick of hearing. <laughs> if you want to spread ginger awareness, feel free to share this video. Video. <laughs> if you haven't already done so, please hit that big red subscribe button. Literally every interaction just really helps this channel grow. So please feel free to do all the good stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. bye.